Fresh off an NCAA appearance in 2018, the Rowan University women's lacrosse team is built for another postseason run. With a strong senior class, the time is now for the profs to bring home their first NJAC title since 2010. The brown and gold have many key returners, especially on the offensive front, which will make their attack that much more dangerous this spring. We have 12 attackers on the team, so we're deep. We could probably run two strong lines, four on four, um, without really missing a beat, which is so exciting. They are flashy in the sense that, like they're dynamic, they can do multiple things at one time. So, whereas before I think we were a little bit more drive heavy, more one dimensional uh, unit, where we've relied on a heavy drive. This year we can drive, feed inside and finish. Three of those impact players were also IWLCA All-Region selections last year in Maddie Bray, Liz Kramer, and Taylor Gretz. Back for her fifth year as third-team All-American selection, Gretz, who's the voice of the profs. Roan's most versatile athlete, Gretz can score, pass, bring down ball controls, scoop up ground balls, and cause turnovers. Basically, she does it all. You'll see Maddie Bray's name near the top of all scoring categories, not just in the NJAC, but the nation as well. The Cross' most well-rounded attacker led the NJAC in goals and had a team high in points and game-winning markers. She is also strong in the draw control category, tallying 73 a year ago, and was named a third-team All-American. Where Gretz and Bray are more meticulous players, Liz Kramer is all power. A beast on defense, Kramer led the team in ground balls and caused turnovers last season. She has also lights out on free position attempts with one of the strongest shots in the country. The props are going to have a very dynamic attack this season with many players bringing something different to the table. I think Taylor came into her own when, we, when Liz came on the program. I think Liz makes Taylor even stronger version of Taylor and Taylor compliments Liz. So I think um, they're just dynamic together. They will be the leaders on the draw circle and in transition as they have been for the past two years. So it's a lot of fun to watch them play. Uh, Taylor being more from the midfield, Liz being more of the quarterback of the attacking unit because she can communicate, uh, call the play sets, and is smart. Um, so again, we kind of vary. We have people who can play interior, and we have people like Reese, who's an exterior. She's a senior, she's an exterior player. She can swing the ball, she can be smart. Seniors Michaela Gillespie and Reese Parr will make key contributions to a team that had a conference best 15.39 goals a game last year. Jess Havers returns after missing last season, and Ashley Lechleiter will be on the attack after producing 23 goals her freshman season. Julia Stumpf will make an impact on offense as the junior has a knack for finding the quiet areas to strike from. Freshmen's Amanda Murphy and Shannon Sterner will be thrust into scoring roles as both bring another weapon to this potent prof's offense. The defense is young for Rowan in 2019 and there will be many moving parts for head coach Lindsey Delaney when the season rolls around. Gretz and Kramer will be big factors from stopping runs, but you also see senior Haley Simons clogging up the lines as well as Caitlin Schneider and Abby Daigle with their long reach and solid defensive pressures. Our defensive end struggled, and you can watch it on film so anyone can see it, with being prepared to defend the next situation. So we could take the drive away, we could take the feet away, we could take the cutter on the inside away, but what's going to happen next? We didn't know until the ball was in the air, and then we were reacting to the offensive unit. Carrie Ann Harrington will have a major role in reducing Rowan's 10.67 goals against from last year and look for freshmen Gianna Rusk and Morgan Kaiser to get early looks in 2019. Emma Frost will be Rowan's starting goalie this spring. She played well in a backup role the last three seasons, racking up 32 saves in 15 career games. Her junior year, Frost had a 722 save percentage, facing 23 shots and allowing only five goals. Coach Delaney says the netminder is ready to be the Profs' top defender as the season starts. She can communicate, she can lead from the defensive end, um, she's consistent and her angles are always really good. So you're going to have to shoot around Emma um, and she just needs to be a little bit more explosive. The Profs have been selected to finish second in the NJAC. The season gets underway February 27th with a home contest against your sinus at 4 p.m. The conference schedule opens in Glassboro on April 6th as Rowan takes on Kane.